Welcome back everybody to Survive Outdoors. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to talk about the present and the future. We're going to talk about something dear to my heart and that is teaching children about nature. We're here for a very short time and within 20 years I'm going to be gone. Most likely. And the bottom line is my granddaughters and their children, I want them to get involved, learn about nature, and that's just going to be so helpful for them as well as the environment. This is not some liberal rah-rah, go hug a tree. It's not what this is about. This is about empowering kids and teaching them. There's tons of research now that we know there is a direct cause and effect in terms of alleviating depression, alleviating anxiety, by spending time in nature, spending time in trails, and being out in the woods. So that's factual data. My time as a psychologist back in the day, I worked with a lot of children in hospitals and out. And so some of this is gonna be about my experience with children. I'm gonna give you 10 reasons and or 10 abilities that you can implement with kids to get them out there in the outdoors and to teach them. I don't care if you hunt, you fish, you do wildlife photography, there is always a way and an avenue to get a kid involved. One of those ways is some books. I picked out about four or five books here that I think are awesome. They're really inexpensive. This is Exploring Nature. It's an activity book by Kim Andrews and it's on Amazon. It's a great book for probably up to 12. This is On the Nature Trail and that is really awesome. It talks about insects, trees, bugs, spiders, tracks. The Backyard Bug Book for Kids. This is great. How many kids are afraid of bugs, insects, snakes? We need to slowly dispel those phobias. Now the kids that are scared of those little things, especially when they get to adult, is usually, not all the time, but usually a direct uh, reflection of how they observe and see their parents deal with those insects. So be aware of that, that's critical. This one is the tree book. It's for kids and grown-ups. It's great for identifying trees, the leaves, the bark, the seedlings. And for all those with girls out there, I have two granddaughters, actually one on the way. And this is, do princesses wear hiking boots? And yeah, they can, and they do, and they should. And if you're raising a little girl, teach that little girl how to change the oil. Teach her how to change a tire. Stop with all the stereotypes. Get the girl out there in the woods. Get her fishing. So... You know, I want this whole purpose of this is really to empower uh, children. So before I jump in the top 10, I'm going to be very transparent. A lot of times in my videos, hey, can you like this? Can you subscribe? If you want to like and subscribe, fine. But I'm imploring you on this one. I would really like you to share this video. Share it on Facebook. Share it to other people. If you just get a parent, um, someone, uh, your niece and nephew may get involved in it. Someone that may inspire them to get the kids out there in nature and teach them about the environment. That would be really important. So that's what I'm imploring you today about. Share this video. Share it with other people. Maybe you might create a spark with someone. Maybe. It's worth a try. All right. Some 10 ways that you can get kids back out in nature. So before you even get the kids out in nature, one of the most important things is I want you to get on their level. So I don't know if you've ever been around someone that was a semi-pro basketball player, pro basketball player, pro athlete, collegiate athlete. They're 6'6", 290 pounds, and they hover above you. It's very intimidating. Imagine being five years old and you're standing above your child. Get down low. Sit on a log. Sit on a rock. Uh, get a chair, but when you talk to them eye to eye, get down low with them so you're not overpowering. You know, stop with the ideas about, I need to teach my kids respect. 
No. You know, that's going to come. First, you need to teach your kids about trust and empowerment and wanting to be with you and be out there in the outdoors or doing anything. So I have found that if you spend time with children and you get down low on their level, they're going to appreciate that a whole lot more. They're going to be more interactive. Second thing, go out on a picnic. You know, have a picnic, throw down a, on a picnic table or a cloth, do it inadvertently. So you have a picnic and then you can get involved with bugs and insects and talk about different things and the trees and plants and how it's all connected and uh, how the plants give off oxygen, collect CO2 and why this tree is necessary for these animals to live in. Uh, so take some pictures with your phone, go identify what you see. Uh, important very important uh, there's I identifying apps tons of apps on the phone um, a great website is spidersid.com spiderid.com that is fantastic for identifying spiders there's uh, entomology apps there's snake apps butterfly apps so have one of those apps up go through it with your kids if you show an interest they're going to want to show an interest trust me they love you unconditional love so do that with them um, again we talked about earlier the trees flowers plants talk to them about this whole cycle of life how everything's important to the ecosystem how everything is dependent on something else in the woods very important create a bird feeder you know those are very simple to make uh, feed some birds do some bird identification Get into birding, um, buy some cheap binoculars, get them out there, see what, do a checklist, see how many birds they can find and what you can find. You can make it into a little competition. Um, uh, celebrate the first day of the seasons, spring, fall, summer, winter, on those days, why are those important? Uh, go back, look at some Native American culture and some lore and how they celebrated the seasons and why that was very important to them and how they were very appreciative of the earth. Uh, we need to learn a lot still from them. That is huge. Um, create a backpack. Get it. We're going to have another video about getting lost and getting found. And I talk about backpacks to create for kids uh, and what to put in it. Create a little backpack. They love that. Get them buy a magnifying glass, get a microscope, buy some cheap books on identifying things in nature. Very important. And that's their backpack. That's theirs. They can take home a rock, take home some leaves, start a leaf album. <clears throat> Excuse me. Learn about tracks, squirrel tracks, rabbit tracks, deer tracks. Uh, this way they can sit there and, and find out where these tracks are going. Where's their home? Where do they feed? Where do they nest? Where do they bed down? sounds colors and smells so in the fall there's a different smell after a rain for example the leaves are changing colors the different sounds of the birds in the outdoors all of the senses are tapped into when you take a walk into the outdoors so very important in terms of getting kids out in nature try just implementing a few of these and see what the response is um, again at the risk of being redundant. This is important to me. I'm really asking you to share this video, share it with other people, see if they'll benefit, see if we can get the kids out there more and more, especially now that COVID is starting to decrease. We're out there in the outdoors. Get after it, guys. Get those kids out there. If you like this video, thumbs up and share it. Hey, keep your eyes on the horizon, face to the wind. Stay safe. Take care.